As the first season of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier continues to build upon the character development we want from The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, one of the stars of the series, Sebastian Stan, opens up about the mental health and PTSD themes that they're hoping to further explore with Winter Soldier in the series and down the road. I really don't think it's that shocking if I was to tell you that the Falcon and the Winter Soldier is dealing and is going to continue to deal with more themes that are political, more themes that touch upon how people are shaped in this specific instance by their past and how that defines their future. Which brings us to Bucky Barnes. I mean, he's been through a lot, being right there side by side with Captain America during World War II, then becoming a mindless drone assassin for various shady organizations, doing stuff against his will, being tortured, having a uh, scrambled brain, if you will, at best. That's the best way to describe it and at worst somebody that doesn't even know if he's really himself anymore which then brings us to modern day mcu where that character still has a lot of uh baggage and as we see he has a lot of answering to do and a lot of self-discovery so it's not surprising that recently sebastian stan was asked about the future of the character and what they hope to further explore in the falcon and the winter soldier and beyond that and that one of the main themes that he hopes that they address very well and continue to explore is the mental health and PTSD themes that the character has. Now I've seen some people say that's not something the MCU should be doing because it doesn't make sense. But then that's literally all WandaVision was about is her trauma, PTSD and her mental health, which this is another take on it. It's just uh, maybe a little bit more closer to home to some people that might be soldiers or some people that have gone through something like that again it's different sides of trauma of mental health and ptsd can be pulled from different directs not all just one event or the same event that can cause it in multiple people i mean you know it's a uh, variety of issues that people have and how they pull this trauma and how they rationalize with it and we see that with Bucky Barnes ever since the beginning, especially when he shows up as the Winter Soldier and how the character continues to grow. So I'm excited that he keeps saying, look, we're going to keep exploring that. We're going to touch upon that more. And I hope that we keep doing it because there's something there to explore, which again, I agree with because without that, what exactly do you have then with Bucky Barnes? I mean, that was a major factor in him coming back in the comics as well. That's a major factor. And for those that might be confused that maybe haven't read Marvel, imagine if Red Hood over on Batman's side of things just showed back up and he had no trauma or anything. He's just like, yeah, I'm Red Hood. I'm cool. All right, back in the spandex. Let's go. No, that's that's stupid. And I compare him to Red Hood because there's parallels and similarities to draw there from both of their uh, traumatic histories. <laughs> 